students. Today, we will revise what we've learned in Unit 5 together. In Unit 5, we learned about equipments that we use in outdoor activities. Here we have some equipments that we learn together. So what, are, what you're going to do is you're going to name each of the equipments that you can see in the photo. What does Luke need for his hiking trip to the mountain? So you have the numbers from 1 to 8 and name them. Take your time. So, number one, hiking boots. Number two, map. Number three, torch. Number four, rucksack. Number five, sleeping bag. Number six, tent. Number seven, GPS watch. And number eight, waterproof jacket. So these are the equipments that Luke needs for his hiking trip. The next one is, in exercise two, what you're going to do is, you're going to write the geographical features. You have some letters there, and you will add the letters that are needed in each of them. So what do you want to do this summer? Why don't you go to these countries that are mentioned? Greece, the UK, France, Germany, Etna, Italy, and Brazil. Take your time and write the geographical features. Okay, maybe you had enough time to figure them out. Let's check together. So, do you want to go on a beach holiday and swim in the Blue Sea? Do you want to go fishing in a lake or a river? Do you want to go on a hiking holiday in the mountains? Do you want to go camping near a forest? Do you want to see a real volcano? Do you want to see the rainforests? Okay, in exercise three, you're going to write comparative or superlative that we have learned in Unit 5. So there you have some examples. Actually, you are going to put those adjectives in comparative or superlative form. Take your time. Okay, let's check together. So number one and two are already done. Number three, a train is faster than a car. Dogs are more energetic than fish. The Nile is the longest river in the world. Tennis star is the best computer game I've got. Okay, in exercise four, what you're going to do there, you're going to write the words from the box, to see at night, to keep dry when it rains, to listen to music. So the purpose with the infinitive to uh, write the words that are needed. The craziest hands-free invention or not. So you can use the super duper umbrella to keep dry when it rains. You can use the boom boom hat to listen to music. You can use the little glasses to see at night. Now, in exercise five, uh, you and your friend are shopping for a school trip. You're going to complete the dialogue. And of course, if you have someone that can uh, speak English, you can practice it with a friend or a sibling that you have next to you. Take your time and write the words. Okay, when we learned in, in Unit 5, we said that we use one and once to substitute nouns. In order not to repeat the same noun twice, we use one or once for plural to substitute it. For example, 
Which t-shirt do you like, the blue or the green one? I like the green one. Which boots do you prefer, the short or the tall ones? I think the short ones. I also need a rucksack. There are only two here. Do you want the big or the small one? I want the big one. I've got lots of stuff to put in it. Now, here in exercise six, you are going to complete the dialogue with the words that you have in the box. So Sab and Sophie are buying a present for Luke. Let's see which words do we need to complete the dialogue. You have best, better, cheaper, how, more, one, only, and which. Take your time. Okay, probably you figured them out. Let's see. So Seb and Sophie are buying a present for Luke. Luke loves camping. How about a tent? It's really expensive. How about a sleeping bag? It's cheaper than a tent. Which one do you prefer, the brown or the green one? I prefer the brown one. It's more expensive than the green one. It's 60 pounds. That's no good. We've only got 30 pounds. I've got a better idea. Let's get him a torch. I think this is the best present for Luke. I agree. Now you're going to listen to a song, Let's Go on Holiday. You are going to listen to the song and sing it, and also you're going to complete the words that are in the song. So listen to it, enjoy it, and write the words that you hear. Unit 5, Students Book, page 63, Exercise 7. Listen and complete. Then sing. Okay, let's check if you got the words right. So here you have the, f the second one is island, the third one is sea, fourth is longer, fifth is mountain, sixth is snow, seven is bigger, and the eighth one is better. This was all about today's lesson. We revised every topic that we learned in Unit 5, and I hope you didn't have any troubles doing them. See you in the next class.